Good morning, Mabu High Squad. New day. Yesterday was amazing news, but this morning, I think we have some not so good news. Legaya is not doing well. We're scheduling her to take her to the vet now. She's just really weak. Her eyes are sunken in. I feel like she's having a remission of PDD. Anyways, if you guys can pray for Legaya, please do. She is not, not feeling well right now. It just kills me that we don't know what it is. You know what I mean? Like it's all a big detective game. Don't worry, the guysies, you'll recover. Anyway, Roman is coming, our driver, heading here now. Uh, we're gonna take her to the vet. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Okay guys, so Legaya is now on her way to the vet. Should be there in about 15, 20 minutes. I'm just so distraught over this. And the ups and downs of life, right? Like last night, it was just celebration because of the good news and then waking up to this. Just really crazy. But if you guys can, please pray for Legaisies. Our dragon, she's not in good shape. And I'm waiting now for what the vet will say. It doesn't make sense for RJ and I to go because they won't let us in. They take the animals in from the outside at, at the gate yeah so just to be safe rj and i are staying in kuya roman our driver has taken legaya and he'll be the one to hand over oh and ate Elsie is also coming ate Elsie will be the one to hand over legaya to to the staff at the vet clinic but yeah oh this is just this is just crazy legaya is in the clinic but she'll be okay she'll be okay Right? I hope so. I think Cypher realizes something's wrong too. Yeah, yeah. He could tell, right? Like he doesn't know what's going on, but I could tell by his mood that he senses something's not right. Oh my God, guys. So Doc Nielsen, her vet just called and it's not good news. He says her proventricular, that organ, that PDD effect is very, very dilated, like super dilated. She's really weak and dehydrated. And he says he doesn't want to draw blood right now, but my boy squad, he told me that he feels like she will not make it. Oh my god, how did this happen? He said that when birds are at this state that she was at now, that their immune system is compromised and like right now they're going to just try to IV her and restabilize her but at the moment she's very weak. They had to drain her crop because there was a lot of fluid. Moise God, I don't know what to do. Can't even imagine losing our Legaya right now. Like that is, it's just crazy. She was like like perfectly fine well at least we thought she was fine right for the two weeks that we stopped her meds but i don't know maybe like when we found she didn't have borna virus and then we tried to stop her meds maybe that caused the remission back into pdd and it wasn't the pellets after all it's just there's so many questions but we're still hoping she will stabilize but her vet says that he doesn't think she will make it oh my gosh guys i can't cry right now i don't want to cry right now my boy squad let's just keep praying let's not lose hope the guysies has overcome these pdd sessions before in the past so let's hope she does again now i don't know what to call this vlog like i don't want to worry you guys and like yeah we were given such great news last night with the streaming nominations and this is just terrible like hardcore bad bad news i mean this should also show you guys for those of you who want birds and parrots like no matter how much research you do and think you're prepared like i've done so much research i've bought all the books i've read all the forums watched all the videos read all the articles and still like you might have a bird that for whatever reason isn't doing well in captivity or under your care like we've given legaya the most we've tried to anyways and tried to like completely be detail oriented and nail her care but she just she's had a lot of health complications well not a lot mostly just this pdd actually but omg i don't know anymore i don't know now I'll just wait. We'll have to wait for the vet's uh, update. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I told RJ, RJ's really, really sad right now. He's upstairs. We can't work. Like today I was supposed to get so much work done and we even had things scheduled. Like in a couple days, me, RJ, Cypher, and Legaya were supposed to go out. We had a trip planned. We booked an Airbnb at a farm, prepared for all of us, for you guys also to come along and vlog and just us be our little, fur family and feathered family out in the province here in the Philippines and then also we were 
scheduled for the four of us, me, RJ, Ligaya, and Cypher, to visit the farm again, the Mobile High Squad farm lot, so she could see her aviary. But oh my gosh, now like the idea that she might not even like see her aviary right now is just oh my god, it's the most terrible news. Just such, such sad, sad news, and so sudden. Oh my gosh, and another thought just occurred to me like, we said goodbye, me and RJ said goodbye to Ligaya, like thinking she would be coming back from the vet after this checkup and now now that she can possibly be passing away it really really is sad that RJ and I didn't have a proper goodbye but I'm still hoping that she'll be okay Roman our driver and at the LC are there at the vet right now and I think they're going to just hang out there and wait for an update but it's just sad that like how do you say goodbye to a bird like that we poured our whole heart out into caring for her let's stay positive okay that's what we need to do she'll be back she'll stabilize by some miracle and we'll just continue medicating her like for the rest of her life now we know what will happen if we stop the meds thank these the guy is not feeling well let's hope she comes back today safe I could tell Cypher is like, he knows something's wrong. He's also sad. Earlier he was licking me and RJ. All right guys, so it's 6.59, 7 p.m. in the evening. Been waiting for an update from the vet. Turns out they are going to confine her. They're trying to stabilize her now. They've got her on oxygen. They've got her on IV, feeding her dextrose. According to Doc Nielsen, the guy is really, really weak. She can't even move, like her feet. Her foot is like paralyzed because of her current state they're not gonna give her meds until they stabilize her apparently but uh, yeah she's like very listless you saw her this morning I don't know she'll be on 24 hour watch apparently and like RJ and I can't function like I I don't want to work we actually have it's seven o'clock one of our videos just went live on one of our cha our comedy channel and we can't even enjoy that enjoy the launch of that video because of this whole thing that's happening with the Gaia we can't eat we can't we're just so stressed about this and like worried for the Gaia and like deeply deeply sad we're hoping that overnight tonight she bounces back that oxygen and the dextrose wakes her up again and helps her get back on her feet we uh, are so sad by this it just happened so suddenly and even doc nielsen he seems like he doesn't know the answer either as to like how this happened as in like she was totally fine yesterday morning to now it's just night and day the condition that she's in so it's just it's one big mystery but um still hoping that Ligaya will be strong and push through like she always does and uh yeah please pray please pray for Ligaya guys omg doc nielsen just sent us a video of Ligaya. she's sleeping right now and she's currently responsive but she is so weak she is just eyes closed and everything oh it hurts for me to see her like this i can't believe this i can't believe this disease seriously it has something to do with the nerve around the organ called the proventricular which controls this organs contraction expanding and contracting I guess and what's supposed to happen is the food passes through this organ and because the nerves aren't working properly it's causing the Gaia to be unable to absorb the nutrients from her food that she needs to um I think even water like she, we've been giving her a lot of water and she still is dehydrated and she was also vomiting a lot this morning it's just PDD is a terrible 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 bird disease um, and I just it hurts my heart to see her suffering like that it's so different without her in the house like <sighs> There's no singing from her. My routine is different, you know, like usually I would play with her and we would talk to her. And even when we approve these vlogs, like we did today, like usually we'd be like, okay, Legaya, let's watch the vlog. And she she would tweet while we're approving every vlog of every night. It's so different without her. Like it just, too many things going through my mind right now. Anyways, hoping she regains her energy. Sleep, guys, and get better. Good morning, Mobile High Squad. Um, we have some... Some sad news. The, the guy is no longer with us. She passed at 4 a.m. I guess she, the PDD was so bad, so 
she couldn't fight anymore. A part of me is happy that she's not suffering anymore. Yeah, but it's hard. And we're sorry to break the news to you guys like this. Yeah. He was admitted at like two p one or two p.m. And then yesterday. Yesterday, and then at four a.m. He passed away. She passed away. Yeah, last night. So, uh, we just wanted to first thank the Vets in Practice team for always treating her whenever she had these PDD spells. Um, they worked really hard to help save her. And um, thank you guys for joining us on this amazing journey. It was a journey that we was shorter than we thought. Um, we had Ligaya for over two years. Uh, it, we didn't expect this to happen. If you would have asked us this like two days ago, we were like, no, Ligaya is fine. Like she's like completely healthy. Um, she's off her meds, and then just it was it, very sudden. So sudden. Um, so, um, yeah, but it's been an amazing two years. Ligaya was a phenomenal bird. <clears throat> For those of you who've been following uh, Ligaya since we first got her, she's been awesome. I was okay until we pressed record. Like now it's kicking him. Now that I gotta tell you guys. Um, but birds are not easy to keep. Uh, sometimes this happens. This also, something kind of happened also with one of our, well, our first bird, Malaya. Oh, yeah. That was a mystery why she passed away. We don't even know why. She was healthy and then all of a sudden also she just passed away. We don't have any dangerous items that that can hurt the bird here. We've got rid of Teflon, nothing like that. We, do, we don't use uh, spray. I aerosols. Mean, aerosols. Yeah, like we followed all the rules. We gave her everything she needed and then more. You know, we tried our best. But sometimes I guess things like this happen. I've had enough pets in my life to know that just sometimes it's in genetics or it could be just random unknown variables that can cause things like this to happen. In the guy's case, at least we know it was some kind, it was PDD. It was a nervous disease like that affects the nerves in her digestive system. Again, the vet said that she had a very dilated proventiculum so at, at least we know the cause and we aren't wondering like with what happened with Malaya like what did we do wrong uh, so like we don't have to do a bio an autopsy now so um, it's just really sad she really filled our days with so much joy which matches her name you guys were with us the whole step of the way raising her hand feeding her you name her you guys named her uh, her first flight, all of this. You guys were there with us, and we appreciate that so much. Um, she's the reason we looked for a house. <laughs> Which is why we wanted to build an aviary for her in the house. But, yeah, oh, it never gets easy. After Malaya passed away, our first bird, we said we'd never get birds again. But then, like when we saw the Gaia, she stole our hearts, so we, we opened up our lives to her and gave her everything we could. But, um, we're so sorry about the news. Yesterday, yesterday's vlog was great news, and this is like terrible news. And we apologize, but like, I guess this is life, right? 
right types Ugh. life goes on um, so now we're at the LC we've broken the news to at the LC just a few minutes ago her and Kuya Roman are going to the vet clinic now to pick up the Gaia and um, we're gonna bury her in the Mobu High Squad farmhouse like on the property somewhere so at least she can be part of it somehow uh, I've never seen myself cry on camera this is my first time I'm such an ugly crier <laughs> So thank you guys so much for the support and uh, we're happy now that the guy is free and out of pain and suffering um, and uh, we hope she brought as much joy and love and knowledge and wisdom to you guys along the way as much as she's filled our lives with and given to us. Um, she was an amazing bird and all those good memories are what we're going to remember. It was so worth it. And that's it.